In today's tutorial, we're going to create this simple and clean 3D text animation. So let's get to it. First things first, make sure your project and timeline are 1920 by 1080 and 24 or 23976 frames per second. Now go to the effects tab and under toolbox and effects, grab the fusion composition and drag it to the timeline. Close out the effects tab and leave the fusion composition to its five second time. Now let's jump into fusion. Move the media out node a little bit down, grab a background, connect it to the media out. And for now, change the color from black to orange so we can see better what we're doing. Now go to the right side of your toolbar and here you have your 3D elements. Grab the 3D text and the renderer 3D node. Connect the 3D text to the renderer and the renderer to the background. Why we did not connect the 3D text directly to the background is because the renderer 3D's job is to tell the composition that it's working with 3D elements. It takes every 3D element that is connected to it and renders a 2D image that we can use in the composition to place whatever we want or animate however we want. Now click on the 3D text and let's add our text. I'm going to change the font to Montserrat and from bold to light. Then go to V anchor. This is vertical anchor. Click the center and horizontal anchor and click the center. Now we know that our text is fully centered. And let's drop the size to 0.5. Now go down to where it says extrusion and open the menu. And let's crank up the extrusion depth to the maximum. As you can see, the text starts to be somewhat 3D. Now let's change the value since the slider limits us to 0.2 let's change it to 0.4 and go to the renderer 3d node and enable lighting and shadows and now you're probably wondering okay we turned it from white to black but it's still not a somewhat visible 3d text how do we fix that well it's simple we're gonna add a light but not the spotlight that is provided here because the spotlight gives too much of a harsh light and we need a somewhat softer light. So click above the nodes and press shift and space to bring up the select tool menu and type in directional light. Here it is. Click add and we have our light, but we need a merge 3D node to add the light to the renderer and also to the text. So let's disconnect the text and connect it to the merge. Connect the merge to the renderer and the directional light to the merge. And voila, now we can see our text is 3D. And if we click on the merge 3D node and press one on the keyboard, we can bring up our source monitor and we can see the text is 3D and we can see all our light in 3D space. Now let's go back to the background node and change the color back to black. And let's start animating our light. Click on the directional light node and go to the 3D transform. And we're gonna play with the rotation. Now, our fusion composition is five seconds long. That means 120 frames per second. So let's go to frame 100 and set a keyframe for all three axes. Then go back to the beginning and slightly change the axis until the text becomes somewhat invisible. Something like that. Now, if we play it back, we have a smooth animation for a text reveal. Now, go to frame 15 or 16. Go back to controls. Set a keyframe on the intensity. Go back to frame 0. And lower the intensity. Now, let's play it back. Now let's close the inspector tab and open the spline menu. And as you can see, we have all our options that we changed. For example, extrusion profile, which gives us the 3D effect and our keyframes for the intensity and the rotation axis. So let's click on X rotation first, click on the keyframe timeline, control F or command F to center, select the top keyframe, press S to smooth out. Select the bottom keyframe, press S again to smooth out, and let's grab the handles and change the S curve a little bit. Something, 
something like this. Now let's close out the X one and open the Y. Control or Command F to center. Press S or both and let's make a twist here and change the direction like so by the way you can play with the keyframes however you like this is what i did for the animation you saw in the beginning now let's close out that y and open z and this one i just want to smooth the curve that's it oh and intensity as well s Control or command F and S again. Good. Let's close out the spline and open up the inspector again and go back to the 3D transform where we have our axis. Now let's create the last part of the animation, the fade to black. By using the arrows on your keyboard, move forward two frames and set a keyframe only for the X axis. Now open up the spline, leave the inspector open, open up the spline box select the two keyframes and drag them to the left two frames as you can see i moved the keyframe from frame 100 to 98 and the one from 102 to 100. now grab the playhead and move until you see frame 117 grab the x wheel and drag it to the left until the text is covered almost completely select both keyframes s to smooth out now grab the playhead, go to frame 102, switch to the controls, set a keyframe for intensity, go back to 119 this time, and drop the intensity. Select the keyframes, smooth them out, close the inspector, control F on the keyframes, and let's play this back. Perfect, a smooth fade to black animation. Now let's add one last detail to this entire animation. So put the playhead at frame 98 so you can see the text. Press and hold control or command on your keyboard and zoom in with your mouse wheel. And now click and hold your mouse wheel to move the media out monitor. Now let's close the spline and open up the inspector. Select the text 3D. And down to the extrusion, we have bevel depth and bevel width. Let's increase these. And as you can see, we added bevel to the text. Now let's fine tune it. All right, so around these values works for our text. Go up to the zoom range and click on fit. Now let's play this back. Now our animation is finished. And that is how you create a 3D text in DaVinci Resolve and one way to animate it. And if you want to learn more text animations in DaVinci Resolve Fusion, check out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.